Hi, this is Brad with Copper Creek Cuts, a lawn care company in Northeast Florida. Now you've seen me go down some rabbit holes. We're going down a deep one today. And to be clear, it doesn't directly involve mowing, string trimming, lawn care, the things that you might think. We're gonna talk about an electric vehicle startup. Now the reason why we're gonna talk about this one is because of all the vehicles that I have seen proposed as coming out, this company has the one truck that I think would be the biggest take up or the biggest adoption because it's a very small truck, it's very inexpensive. I could see tons of people like uh, Advance Auto Parts, AutoZone or Napa. They've got fleets of old little tiny Rangers, at least in my area, for parts deliveries. This kind of truck could fit them very well. My issue with it is I'm not entirely sure that it's real. And we're gonna take a look at why. Now the footage you're looking at here on the screen is directly from Alpha Motor Corporation's YouTube page. And what we're looking at is their Alpha Wolf electric truck. This premiered back in uh, March of this year. And this truck, this is a gorgeous looking little truck. The issue is, this is all just a 3D render. This is not an actual vehicle that you're seeing. It's just a render. And what they've also done, they've put out three or four more designs for four-door version of this truck, a little tiny coupe, some other kind of car. Uh, maybe it was a van, I don't even remember. But they're all just 3D renders. There's not actually a real vehicle. And as far as I can tell, the information about this company is shrouded and veiled and you can't find out anything about who the company is, who's running it, how many employees are there. And so going into this, uh, you know, I thought to myself, well, this is a gorgeous looking little truck. I hope it's real, which led me to add this comment to their page. To be fair, the comment was on the video where they showcased uh, their four door version of the truck. But I said, I hope that we don't have to wait too long to see an actual prototype. These renders are very nice, uh, but it's not real until it's real. Now that comment was four months ago and only got one thumbs up. I thought that, well, maybe that means that my comment got hidden. And so here we have an incognito window uh, of this version and of those 121 comments, yeah. Uh, mine, mine you can't see. So what that means is that your comment has been hidden or blocked from public view. When I log in, I can still see it, uh, but nobody else can, at least publicly. So what they've done is they've muted me so that my comments don't, don't show up on the channel. That's kind of a red flag right off the bat if this brand new company is already censoring certain viewpoints about, well, I hope this is real. Anybody can just make, uh, you know, these CGI renders and say, yeah, we've, we've got a great looking vehicle coming down, down the pipeline. You should go ahead and invest it, reserve for $100. And if they get 100,000 people that reserve them, they just made a million bucks, right? For not even having anything. Wait, is the math on that right? 100,000 times 100. 10 million? They made 10 million! That's even worse. That <laughs> so now we're taking a look at the video that they just released today. What you'll first notice is that we open on a scene of Alpha Motor Corporation Wolf Electric Truck Unveiling, Irvine, California. There is nowhere that indicates that this is actually at their headquarters or their location in Irvine, California. Look at how quickly they get rid of this shot. That wasn't even a full second, not even a full second, and they're already off of this shot. And so indulge me a little bit more. So when we Google Alpha Motor Corporation, we find that they are at 530 Technology Drive, Suite 100 here in Irvine, California. This is what that building looks like, 530. Basically an office rental spot. This complex of four buildings, one, two, three, and there's another one behind it. They all pretty much look the same, right? These mirrored glass finishes. Here you can see this building looks the same from now three sides. This building, if we head down the road a little bit more, we see again there three sides. So it's just, it's all, flat front glass building, it doesn't match this facility here. So right off the bat, you're showing me some stock footage of some place that doesn't exist, or it exists obviously, but it's not where you're, you're doing your manufacturing out of, or I don't think you're doing any manufacturing yet. So now these two gentlemen, they introduce themselves 
Actually, they don't introduce themselves, and that's the second issue. Uh, basically, what they say is, welcome to Alpha Motor for the unveiling of this, this Alpha Wolf truck. When we look up these fellas, Joshua Boyd and Jay Lejewski, I apologize if I said that wrong, Jay. Keep in mind, you don't see any headers about their positions in the company, right? These aren't the CEO and the chief engineering head. This is just Joshua and Jay. When we look them up, we actually find they have nothing to do with Alpha Wolf aside from they co-own an advertising firm together that Alpha Wolf is using for this promotional video. So here is Mr. Joshua Boyd. He's the co-owner and founder at Advanced Placement. There seems to be something with Specialty Coffee, Tuning Fork Consulting that he does down here at the bottom. Starting in January 2018, he co-owner founded Advanced Placement, disrupting the world of events and promotions. Growing companies can't spend massive marketing budgets we find more meaningful and engaging ways to connect with the consumer. They are simply a marketing firm. They have nothing to do with Alpha Wolf. They are not employed by Alpha Wolf. Jay's profile, again, co-owner founder at Advanced Placement LLC. Again, big, big coffee guy. I'm gonna tell you their whole history. I'm piecing it all together here. They both have a love of coffee and they stumbled into one another at some Portland craft brew coffee tasting contest party and they hit it off. Uh, so he was hired on, <laughs> I don't know. So obviously nothing against these two guys, but I do feel like it's extremely disingenuous to bring them out without saying, these are just marketers, they have nothing to do with the company, and you're under the impression that they work for Alpha Motor. So this is where being a YouTube content creator comes into play because when I see this camera shot, all I can think of is there's no way they did this outside because the lighting is too perfect. 90% uh, of my videos are done outside. So I know that unless it is a perfectly overcast, and I mean dark overcast, like rain clouds in the distance, you will never get this kind of lighting that Josh and Jay have right now. Especially that soft diffused lighting that's right there on his glasses. I swear to you, I feel like such a, we never did a moon landing conspiracy theorist because I'm like, look at the lighting in his glasses. The answer's in the lighting in his glasses. And it looks like they have a shell. All they do is flick lights on, which honestly you can be running off of a 12 volt battery somewhere. Actually, look at this wire. What's this wire? <laughs> I might have just found the power supply to the actual vehicle. What is this cord running to the vehicle? The only thing we see, they don't open the doors, they don't show the interior. These windows are tinted beyond belief, right? You cannot see inside of this vehicle. I am fairly confident that this is simply a model. I don't think this is a real vehicle. They, they don't say what it is. They talk about some of the features. They don't show you with the inside. They don't open things up. They do open the tailgate. I, I take that back. The one thing they interact with is a tailgate, but it's a close shot. It's a real tight view. It just, it just doesn't feel right. Like if you had a vehicle that functioned, you would show it off. If that interior was developed, if it was ready, why wouldn't you show it on this debut? Apparently this vehicle is going to be in some kind of a, a museum or some kind of a display for cars. I'm thinking it probably is real, like this is not a 3D render that we're looking at. But is it a fully fledged vehicle? Does it have an interior? Is it functioning? Does it have a drivetrain? Does it have a transmission system? I don't think so. I think if it did, we would see a lot more than it just simply sitting there and the windows so tinted that you can't see into it. If you're hiring marketers, that's fine. Make it clear they're marketers. Don't try and pass them off as, as some part of your company. If you've got a, a working prototype or that's just a shell, just be upfront about where you're at. Like, this is, we finally got something physical. It doesn't have an engine, it doesn't have batteries, but we are getting there, here's how. There's no clear path forward about how they're gonna be fleshed out, how they're going to be built. I sincerely hope I'm wrong because this is a gorgeous little truck and there are other models of vehicles that are really cute too and I wanna see them. But that is your daily dose of conspiracy theory from Brad. Thanks for sticking it out with me. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it.